Yep. <clears throat> Hello, hello. Okay. It's an MMA fighter. <clears throat> There's a, a great selection uh, of photos on uh, Getty images. Like all the official portraits are on there. No, I haven't drawn Cam Camzat. I drew his friend though, like Cuta uh, de Latze or something. I don't really draw them for their like n notoriety. I just select the faces that I think are like cool to draw. Mm -hmm. 
Does it ever happen that you feel so overwhelmed you can't draw? No, not really. I I draw more because I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Like drawing calls calms me down. You need to learn to be outcome independent uh, when drawing. Just you know, accept that it's a lifetime, lifetime journey. Or go slow. Put on, put on some music, you know. Yeah, drawing is almost the only thing that makes me calm. Because I'm actually not a calm per person. That's cool. Uh, I can't. Maybe you're still in the honeymoon phase of drawing. I don't have much time today, unfortunately. So the approach I'm taking with this one is um, I got this quite like bad sketch uh, made it with a grid so it's not that in inaccurate uh, but now I'm just going you know I'm focusing on one area trying to get it like to look good and then move on to the next one I don't always work like this but this is my plan for this drawing. Oh, yeah, I wanted to listen to Is gonna listen to this concert. The <clears throat> what was the warning? <laughs> oh yeah, whatever. I think a lot of these UFC fighters, not this guy, but if you look through all those photos, a lot of them have the got beaten up during high school vibe. And are now overcompensating. This guy just looks like a, 
a psycho. <laughs> but he's probably really nice. A really nice guy. <laughs> Yeah, getting slapped, getting hit in the face is it's not fun. I got I got slapped in the face by a by a random random stranger on the street once dude some like some some drugged up guy thought I was like looking at him Then he went up me, first he kneed me in the balls, and then he slapped me in the face. And then he grabbed me by a, I, I don't remember where, uh, but he had me pretty, pretty good. <laughs> Did you fight back? No, I didn't fight back because the guy's hand, the guy's hands were like twice my size. He was about my height, but he was like one. I was, I didn't even have like coffee yet. I just got off the train, going to my work. I wasn't doing anything, so I was just completely in shock, basically. And uh, one, he hit me in the ball, so that <laughs> that hurt pretty bad wasn't really I was already out basically <laughs> he hit me one of those you know like now uh, he he slapped me and then need me basically all in one motion And then he was like, oh, what are you looking at, at me for? And I was trying to say, you know, I wasn't. But then he was like, you know, be careful what you say next or something. And then I just apologized for nothing. And then he just went away. He just walked away.
<laughs> but hey, that was 10 years ago. Hey man. Yeah, I didn't I didn't fight back cuz I knew I'd lose. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Yeah, I mean, I was looking at him, but not in a way, you know, not in a special kind of way, just like, hey, there's a person, let's not walk, let's not bump into him. You know, that, ki that kind of looking. So here on the on the forehead here 
right you can see the uh, highlight right highlight and then everything's kind of going towards that highlight right right so that's what i'm trying to do and uh you can see the skull underneath this guy skill pretty good right Thanks, uh, whoop. Uh, Dandel, uh, it's going pretty good. It's a uh, holiday right now. Uh, I'm doing, um, if I talk like this, do you, do you guys hear me? I'm doing character concept art.
Yeah, I can't talk, I can't talk to loud. Hello. <clears throat> um uh 10 years ago i worked on uh star wars card game online uh, for sony but i only did like i drew luke skywalker I drew like uh, some rebels in the snow in the snowy trenches on the that planet and I drew like a, a radio uh, like a radar operator and I fixed up a face on uh, one of uh, Ruan GS cards I had to correct uh, Ruan Gia's, one of Ruan Gia's uh, cards to get the likeliness uh, correct. But yeah, I was very um, 
very green when I worked on that project. Thanks for the bits, uh, Dandel. Thank you so much. Um, I gotta do something. Ah, uh, no, you can't see it. <laughs> Is that on that? I don't have them. And they're crap. They they were my very first uh, work, basically. Uh, I was I was uh, very new when I was uh, working on that. If you go to my uh, art station, you can find uh, bo some Borderlands work.
Yeah, most of my work is uh, tied up in NDAs, uh, sadly. I worked on this, I worked a year on a project and they canceled it, so. It was some, some of my best work and I can never show it. <laughs> I'll show it one day, probably, but. Yeah, it's sad. <laughs> Very sad. Mm -hmm. uh, am I gonna color it? Probably not. Or maybe I should try it. Try some new technique to color uh, this stuff I'll color it right now boom done was that ch is that cheating People use AI and shit. Is that cheating? <laughs> it's a super this this method. Uh yeah, this method of coloring. Um, is super useful when you're drawing stuff uh, from imagination for a professional on a prof in a professional sense, right? You can instantly make a color your your uh, whatever you're drawing, basically. Right, because Nobody cares. It's uh, nobody can see it that there's a picture, uh, and you can make a you know a base for your color in a in a second. So you just copy the photo and put it on uh, color, basically. I'd say it's a it's a process uh, I use as a lots of as a lots of octolet? Was a lot the octolet? Yeah. Ja, das mir lässt alle ja. Ist er denn? Ja, das mir ja das mir lässt hier ja so ja ist er ja so wie so ungefähr. 
<gülüyor> ya ama kadar. Ha ya ya. Ya. Ne kadar iyi duvar nasıl? Kendi abi olmaz. Normal gezi mi? Normal gezi mi ki bir elektrik mi nandır job? This is a. This is a common. Is ook niet betaald of zo. Dat is ik doe daar vrijwillig. Dat is via zo via een streaming site. Maar ik doe dan eigenlijk gewoon demos van mijn werk. En ondertussen leg ik uit wat dat ik doe. En ik antwo- ja, als die iets vragen, dan antwoord ik dat. Ja, dat is ja. <laughs> ja, ik kan het komen zien. Ja, even. <laughs> Dus, uh, ja, ik, ik, werk, uh, ik werk voor videogames. Mm-hmm. En uh, dit is ook een soort van ja, schetsboek eigenlijk. Dus al die tekeningen heb ik online gemaakt, iedereen kan dat volgen. Mm-hmm. En uh, ja, ik leg dan zo uit wat dat, uh, wat dat, uh, wat dat is, mm-hmm. wat dat ik doe en zo. In mijn ear zitten die vragen te stellen. <laughs> Die zien mij nu ook nog Nee, 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 hier is de camera. Ah, ja, 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 okay. Als jij dichter komt dan wel. <laughs> ja, nee, ik weet het. Amai, uh, maar die zitten gewoon heel een tijd te volgen in terwijl je aan het werk bent. Er zijn 71 mensen aan het kijken. <laughs> wow, 71. <laughs> ja. En dan zeg ik, dat is wel stil. <laughs> nee, nee, ja, nee, ik snap dat wel. Maar dat is hier nogal... Uh, dat is hier nogal... Uh, <laughs> nogal geval. Ja, de, 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 ja. Er was, er was een moment dat ik uh, ja, echt les moest geven aan een cursus. Mm-hmm. En je nog een luide stem. Maar je doet dat ook, hè? Want ik geef ook heel veel andere uh, les. En je moet ook luid spreken, dus je doet niks verkeerd. Maar dat is natuurlijk. Je moet nee, een aandacht trekken, maar je trekt die aandacht ja, ja. ook. Ja, inderdaad. Maar ja, ik heb dat niet altijd gedaan. En dat, dat is ook zo uh, begonnen. Mm-hmm. Ook uh, op het moment dat dat mijn enige job was. Ah oh, ja. Mm-hmm. Dat ik zo uh, dat aan toen was. Ja. En had ik niet veel keuze natuurlijk. Ja, en, <laughs> en dan zat ik hier ook. Ja, ja, ja. ja ik heb het ook moeilijk in dat kop. <laughs> ja, dat heb ik al aan gedacht, maar ik denk niet dat dat gaat uitmaken. Ja, dat is wel een echt helemaal in het donker. Hè? Ja, dat vind ik niet zo erg. Maar... Ik denk dat je dat nog altijd gaat horen. Vooral voor Damien of zo gaat dat niet, dat gaat niet beter. Hè? Ja, dat is wel in het donker. <laughs> Ja, dat is moeilijk, hè. Ik kan dat natuurlijk ook typen. Eerst zijn dag aan het zeggen tegen Hello, our guest. Hoorde die mij? Ja, die man die spreekt Engels. Dus... Ah, ja. <laughs> Oké, okay, <sorry. laughs> Ja, nee, maar ja. Zonder al... Allee, ik ben hier ook meestal. Ik ben hier nu even heel veel. Ja. Yeah. Uh, volgende week ook. Nee, maar ik ga er rekening mee houden. Ik, uh, ik ga gewoon de antwoorden typen, denk ik. Ja, of we dat... kunnen we dat. Ja. Kunnen we dat hier dat delen? Of mag ik veronderstellen dat ik niet de enige ben die hier blijft? Dus, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Echt? Ja, zelf, zelf uh, aangezien, aangezien dat ik een, een zoon heb die, die zo half ADHD heeft en uh, alleen maar lawaai maakt, heb ik een vrij hoge tolerantie ja, ja. voor geluid. Nee, 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 maar ik snap je volledig. Ah, ja. <laughs> Dat is niks, dat is niks. Ik denk dat ik gewoon uh, ja, ik denk dat ik bij mij thuis uh, terug in bureau of zo moet gaan fixen of zo, waar ik, de, waar ik deze kan doen en dan mijn andere werk hier doen. Dat is waarschijnlijk uh, de oplossing. <laughs>
kan losgaan. Op zich is dat niet slecht om uh, s'avonds terug te komen. Dat is eigenlijk een beter, een beter moment, is zo, s'avonds. Ja, dan heb je de, de mensen van hier, plus en mensen van Amerika. En dan uh, zijn mensen in de Filipijnen of Australië al terug wakker. <laughs> Dus die kunnen dan, die kunnen dan kijken voordat ze, gaan, voordat ze naar hun werk gaan. <laughs> Meestal, dat ik, toen ik dat meer deed, dat was zo uh, rond de 200 elke keer. En af en toe kopen die dan ook iets uh, van mijn. Uh, ik heb zo'n store en dan kopen die af en toe ook wel eens uh, iets daarop. En dan. Uh, ja, zoiets. Je kunt dat helemaal uit, uitbouwen als carrière, zo. dat gaat wel. Maar dan moet je dat echt uh, acht uur per dag doen, bijna. <laughs> Ah, zoals een sender, illustratie. Ja, die zat bij mij op school. De sender, nee. Die, die doet soms wel... Uh, uh, ja, uh, conferenties. Maar die hoorde eigenlijk niet. Uh, ja. of misschien ik keer. Maar Lin kan hier ook wel veel bellen. Ja. Als die belt. Die is wel vrij luid. <laughs> ja, 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 maar... Allee, dat, dat valt ook wel mee, zo. Ik ben blij dat we met die zin hebben. Ja, nee, zo. Dat is goed, maar nee, het is goed dat je dat zegt. Uh... Ja, dan heb je een keer een Goed, ciao. Nee, ik zal het doen. All right, he's gone. <laughs> I'm the only one now. And now I have to go, damn it. I need to move uh, my office uh, pretty soon. <laughs> ah, he's a nice guy. He's a new. There's a new guy. Uh, he needs to concentrate. I think it's crazy how fast people say, you know, like, oh, it's that they can't c concentrate or something. I don't say shit here. <laughs> Even if something annoys me, I don't complain, you know, it's just, I, I hate complaining. I'll never be like, oh, you're too loud or whatever. The demolition? No, no. Not yet. The demolition is every year, but you know, there's nothing this year. There's no notice or anything, so it won't be for this year. Maybe, you know. 
Or maybe I, I haven't been here uh, and we already got the notice, but... I need to change office because uh, I like streaming, I stream a lot, and I have a loud voice. Even if I try to talk silently, um, people get annoyed. <laughs> Like, my silent voice is not much more silent. Like, it cuts off, right? <laughs> like, my voice starts somewhere here. And these these uh, decibels are not accessible to me. Like, even if I talk loud, I, like, start croaking around this volume, and then it's just silent. <laughs> So if I, if I, you know, go to my own office or something back at home, um, I can just go, go wild, you know. Thanks, uh, Dandel, for all the bits. Yeah, it's the same. Like, when they have a meeting, I don't say anything, you know. Whatever. Guy's here for two days. I already got a mouth on him. <laughs> He's gonna check the stream later, the VOD. You know what's annoying? For for a while, my 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 neighbor. So this is this is my room, right? My bed is like here. Here am I sleeping. Right here. Well. My neighbor TV is here <laughs> on the second floor. It's an apartment, and uh, I imagine this guy sitting here in his chair. He's blasting some kind of, uh, I think it was Turkish, Turkish uh, late night talk show, right? So it's like ah, da, 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 like super. Super crazy, like, debates in Turkish, right? The guy is sitting here, and uh, he falls asleep every night. The, the talk show ends at, like, 12.30, and then there's, like, this uh, noise, this music that starts playing all night, like, <laughs> like, Crazy, hectic music. Then at around 2 o'clock, his wife, his wife would wake up. It was almost the same thing every night. His wife, probably in nightgown, she wakes up. She starts bitching to him. He's <laughs> like, you left the TV on. I don't know, it was in Turkish, but I imagine it was like that. And then the guy goes to sleep and the TV finally went off at 2 o'clock. But they moved, they moved, so they're not there anymore.
And yet, I didn't complain. I went crazy for a while. And then my girlfriend explained how she does it. You know, she's like, it's because you focus on the noise, right? And she was like, yes, sometimes you fall asleep in the middle of the day with a, ki with a kid yelling and the, the street's super busy. You know, there's way more noise, TV on, whatever. You fall asleep in the middle of the day. Just like that, you know, like snap, you fall asleep. Like, why can't you do that at night? It's because you're not focusing on it. So I tried doing that and it actually worked. I mean, I'm not like her. She, she falls asleep. No, if you focus on sleep, it's kind of the same thing. Then you don't sleep because you're thinking about it too hard. It's like zoning out, basically. Self-hypnosis. Self <laughs> when you rent a place? No, I, actually, I have a house, but it's in a city, so... We got two apartments on either side of our house. But ever since I learned that technique, I don't, I don't, uh, it doesn't matter anymore. And uh, I've, I lived in Paris uh, for a couple of months, and at that time I could also do it because I didn't have a choice. Because it was so loud, it was like insanely loud. <laughs> yeah, focus on your breathing, but it's more like an unconscious thing, I think. It's like... You just try to zone out and let the thoughts flow or something. <laughs> I used to fall asleep with, uh, when I was 16, I used to fall asleep with uh, the, the album uh, Lateralis of, of Tool every night for, for about a year. Full blast, it had to be loud. And I'll always fall asleep at the same song. Uh, which is like the last song, I think, Disposition. Because it starts with these, with these bongos. And then it kind of like slowly builds. And then at the end, it, it kind of explodes the song. So then I would wake up put, up, put it off, put off the music and fall asleep. Every night for like a, a year or something. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> 
Damn. Yeah, it can be too much. Uh... All right, I gotta go. Unfortunately, maybe a couple more lines here. <laughs> I think uh, when the Ticks and Leeches song, that's that's like right in the middle, right? No? Oh, hold on, I think I just... Just might have bought like a half hour more. Mm -hmm. So I was having fun. Um, maybe you should give him a neck. I'm just, I'm, I'm getting a message that someone else can, uh, pick, pick up my, uh, my son. So I'll see if that, if that, uh, works. works out having kids is just the uh, logistics logistics <laughs> Hold on. Oh, the song, dude. What the f um, Oh, you can't hear the music. <laughs> oh, let me call for a second. Hold on. Hey, Anali. So, uh, you're going to do your mini, man. Yeah, we have an extra black scare. Ah, yeah. And, uh, and the scare, who? So, I told him this time for me. Yeah, but can I come down after the day? No, not just. And when you're saying you're leader, then? Yeah. So, how is this? Ja, ja, ja. Ja, mijn ouders komen alleen ongeveer, hè? Ja. Mijn ouders komen bij ons thuis, dus Ja, 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 oké. Nee, dat is goed. Dus dan moeten wij ook gewoon... Oké, dat is goed. Is het goed? Ja, ja, goed. Oké, ja, dadaa. Alright. 
B B B. What? What's that? Yeah, I have it on the the first button. Okay, got half an hour. Drink, drink. All right.
Right, any more uh, questions? Do I always, uh, not always, uh, I haven't used the, you know, I just used the grid in this one, very, uh, you know, very little basically, just, just to get, you know, some lines down. But I didn't trace, I didn't do any tracing, I just, you know, uh, used the, these lines, you know, just to, you know, to put something down really fast. Uh, this goes uh, very fast that way. It's fun to start a drawing, uh, you know, sometimes you just don't feel like being too frustrated, right? I think the grid helps with that, to stay relaxed, uh, you know, just a drawing. <laughs> you can do it without if you want, there's no, uh, it's probably better, right? But like I'll hundred percent stay like if I make a a mistake, uh, but it's a good mistake. I'll just you know I usually just keep it. You know, I might draw the draw the eyes a bit different, or you know the mouth or whatever. And that's, I think that's a, the power of drawing, you know, you can just go, you don't need to go exactly what you see.
My stuff end up looking worse if I actually trace. <laughs> Not sure if it should. Yeah, tracing is not really. Yeah. It can uh, work very well. I have a technique where I trace. Uh, if I work for. If I have to do a portrait really fast, I'll trace it, but I'll just use the trace. I'll trace very lightly. So, you know, I'll do it like, like this. You know, just to put and kind of mark all of the, right? You kind of mark all of the important yeah, of course I do it a bit slower so that it's co more correct, right? But I'll do it like this. Mark all the important uh, corners. Right? And use that, you know, something that's not very finished as a base. Because um, then, yeah, and then you concentrate on because then you solve the most difficult about drawing is the proportions, right? And if you have the, the, the little marks, then you know the, the eyebrow is coming up to there, you know? And then you just can just focus on making a nice drawing. And then, uh, yeah, it still takes skill to Produce a good drawing from a tracing. Because, you know, usually only good artists can turn a tracing into a, a good drawing. And not a, not a tracer. <laughs> In, you need the skills of a good artist to trace something. So if you trace to make good art and you're not a good artist, it's not going to work. Unfortunately. <laughs> Oops. So now I made a multiply, multiply layer. Uh, and I took away some of the darker darks. Mm -hmm. I think it's almost done now.
All right. Now it's for real the end. <laughs> All right, thanks for uh, watching. Appreciate all the bits and uh, the bits, basically. <laughs> mm. Hope you guys have a, guys and girls have a good, a good day. And I'm out. Oh yeah, maybe I'll uh, I'll send the uh, I'll uh, raid someone. <laughs> Which TV? Uh, yeah, like this. I'm a bit slower. <laughs> this is the rate rate channel. Who are we gonna rate? John Silver. Yeah, all right. Take care. Bye-bye.